お手紙、ご家族、お話、ご無事。Why do Japanese polite words start with O or Go? In this Keigo Japanese Polite Language Part 2 and the Sequence Part 3, you will learn the prefixes O or Go. How to use them and how to choose O or Go? In this part two, I'm going to show you the summary of prefixes O or Go in three types of Keigo. Bikago, beautification words. Son Keigo, honorific language. And Kenjo Go, humble language. If you don't know what are Bikago, Son Keigo, Please check out the part one so you can see the overview of Japanese formal language, these three types of keigo, and how and when should you use them. Let's get started the summary of prefixes o or go. In the first place, why do we have to add o or go to the beginning of words? 1. Reason 1. To beautify and sugarcoat the words, which called bikago, beautification words. This is because there are many Japanese words that sound blunt and unclassy when used alone, such as sake, alcoholic beverage, benjo, restroom. Meshi, meal, rice. Kane, money. So you want to add o and go, and they will be o sake, o te arai, go ham, and o kane. As you may know, sake was originally meant nihonshu. Japanese rice wine, but also its general term for alcoholic beverages. Sake is well known as Japanese rice wine overseas, but in Japan, if you'd say, Sake kudasai! It sounds crude. It's okay for men, but for women, sounds not classy at all. But as a side note, in the first place, For ordering sake, we usually say, Nihonshu kudasai. Can I have sake? Or, Atsukan kudasai. Can I have hot sake? Or, Reishu kudasai. Can I have cold sake? Our more common. So, in general, we use sake as alcoholic beverages like お酒はあまり強くありません I can't drink much. お酒はあまり強くありません So, for ladies, it's not recommended to say お酒は飲めません I can't drink alcohol. Next example word. Benjo, restroom. This kanji, ben, means feces. And this one means place. So, benjo literally means place to poop, which is not a classy word. But o b e n j o is not very commonly used. O t e a r a i or t o i r e are more common. t e a r a i literally means washing hands. O t e a r a i refers to restroom. But o t o i r e is a wrong polite word. 
because there is a rule that you should not add o or go to gairai go foreign words like toide, biru, sosu. These are written in katakana. For information, if you are a woman, keshoustu or okeshoustu sound more classy. Keshou means makeup. This kanji shitsu represents room. So keshoustu means powder room, which indicates restroom. Go back to the topic. Why do we have to add o or go to the beginning of words? Ni. Reason to. To show respect to the subject. Show respect by adding the prefixes to make the subject look good, which belong to nouns. Nominalize the subject of action or adjective that describes the nature or state of the subject called. Songeigo, honorific language. Method 1. Adding o or go to the nouns. Here are example words. Otegami, your letter. Odenwa, phone call from you. Osumai, your residence. Goanshim, your relief, peace of mind. Gojitaku, your home, house. Goikou, your or their party, group. Example usages. Odenwa itadakemasu ka? Could you call me, please? Odenwa itadakemasu ka? Dochira ni osumai desu ka? Where do you live? Dochira ni osumai desu ka? Dozo go anshin kudasai. Please be assured. Dozo. ご安心ください。The party has arrived. ご一行様がご到着です。Method 2. Adding O or go to adjectives, adverbs. Add prefixes to adjectives and some adverbs that describe the nature or condition of the subject or things to show respect for the subject. Examples with adjectives. Okirei, you are beautiful. Osamui, cold. Oatsui, hot. Oisogashi. You are busy, not available. Ohima. You are free, available. Ohayai. You are early. Examples with adverbs. Goyukuri. Relax and enjoy. Take your time. Gomottomo. Absolutely. Example usages. Itsumo okirei desu ne. You are always beautiful. Itsumo okirei desu ne. Oisogashii tokoro doumo arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you very much for your time. Oisogashii tokoro doumo arigatou gozaimashita. Go yukkuri douzo. Enjoy your time. Go yukkuri douzo. 
ごもっともでございます。You are absolutely right. ごもっともでございます。Method 3 Adding o or go to the nominalize the subject of the action. To show respect to the subject of the action by turning the verb into a noun and adding prefixes. Let's check out some examples. O machi, you're waiting. Verb, matsu, wait, turns into noun, machi. Waiting plus o becomes o m a c h i Go h e n s h i m your reply. Mail, email. Verb, h e n s h i n s u r u Reply, respond. Turns into noun, h e n s h i m Reply plus go becomes go h e n s h i m Go to mom, your order. Verb, to mom suru. Order turns into noun. To mom, order plus go becomes go to mom. Go i k e n your opinion. Verb, i k e n suru. Give an opinion turns into noun. i k e m opinion plus go becomes go i k e m Example usages. こちらでお待ちください。Please wait here. こちらでお待ちください。ご返信をお待ちしております。I look forward to hearing from you. ご返信をお待ちしております。ご注文の商品が届きました。Your order has arrived. ご注文の商品が届きました。貴重なご意見をどうもありがとうございます。Thank you very much for your valuable opinion. 貴重なご意見をどうもありがとうございます。三、reason three to express humble yourself. The subject of the action is oneself. And by turning the verb into a noun and adding prefixes, it becomes a humble way of expression, which called Kenjo go, humble language. Check out some examples. O hiki uke, my or our acceptance. Verb, hiki ukeru, accept, undertake. Turns into noun, hiki uke, acceptance. Plus, o becomes o hiki uke. O kotowari. My, our declining, refusal. Verb, kotowaru, decline, refuse. Turns into noun, kotowari, declining, refusal. Plus, o becomes o kotowari. Go len laku. My, our contacting. Verb, len laku suru. Contact turns into noun. Len laku. Contacting. Plus, go becomes go len laku. ご相談 My, our consultation. Verb, 相談する Consult, turns into noun. 相談 Consultation, plus, ご becomes, 
ご相談。Example usages ぜひお引き受けいたします。I'd be happy to accept your offer. ぜひお引き受けいたします。申し訳ありませんが、お断りさせていただきます。I'm sorry, but I must decline your offer. 申し訳ありませんが、お断りさせていただきます。ご連絡が遅くなり、申し訳ありません。I apologize for the late reply. ご連絡が遅くなり、申し訳ありません。明日、ご相談に伺いたいのですが、ご都合はいかがでしょうか ?I would like to visit you at your office for consultation tomorrow.Would that be convenient for you? 明日、ご相談に伺いたいのですが、ご都合はいかがでしょうか ?However, act for oneself, such as ご質問、クエスチョン、ご依頼、request、ご要望、demand are not applied as 謙譲語、humble language. These are only acceptable for 尊敬語 honorific language. For example, 何かご質問はございますか Do you have any questions? 何かご質問はございますかご依頼の件、承知いたしました。We have approved your request. ご依頼の件、承知いたしました。ご要望にはお答えいたしかねます。I'm afraid that I'm unable to fulfill your request. ご要望にはお答えいたしかねます。Now you have it, the summary of prefixes. O and go. The next lesson, part of three, we will move on to the next topic. How to choose O or Go? Which is a frequently asked question. So please stay tuned. If you like this lesson, please like this video and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, you will not miss my future lessons. Thank you for watching on Japanese Conversation with Terumi. それでは失礼します。